Hey Jim here, how's everybody doing today? Just a quick update, I got the other 60 pounder. It's already in the United States, but it's not here yet. This, I'm gonna put it head to head with this one. This is the uh, Deer Seeker Turkish Horsebow, 60 pounds at 28 inches. The other one is supposed to be 60 pounds as well. I'll put them both on the scale, see how close they are, either plus or minus, and we'll go from there and try that out. So it's uh, in Los Angeles. It has not, or is probably currently going through customs. UPS, USPS doesn't say that specifically, but it's been there for two days. So that's probably just getting checked out, make sure there's nothing wrong or whatever with it. And then uh, it should be in route. So hopefully it gets here by the 8th of April because it's crazy. We're in the path of totality. There's an estimated 50,000 people going to be in this area uh, just to watch it and some of them you know out of country and all that good stuff so we'll see how it goes but stay tuned make sure you subscribe hit like notification bell that way you get all the other information I'm uh, gonna put out there with archery budget archery making your own arrows like I did here um, put these fast knocks on there and they're good for slavic draw but they're not good for ring draw because of the uh, bump right here your ring your ring will hit it and knock it off and you'll be dry firing your arrow which I've done once and I will not do again so but I put these uh, two blade broadheads on there very very good for penetration and uh, small to medium sized game which I will be uh, hunting with these here soon um, had a, a bunch of coyotes go after somebody's dog within their shot at me I could hear it um, I'll go talk to them see if they want me to set up and uh, lure them in and uh, take them out because that is something I, I feel is very 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 strongly towards when a pack of wild animals come into the city and start taking out family pets yeah definitely something I want to address because I don't need to use firearms. It's not necessary. These I can throw six of these downrange fairly quickly. If you haven't seen the video, probably should. Even though that's close range, that's five yards. You got to look at if I'm getting that close to something, which is very possible. I'll definitely need to loose as many arrows as quickly as I can. Because if there's more than one, and only one of these is gonna, all I need to take out center mass. So yeah. Check that video out with all the flu flu and uh, see what I did with it. And you'll understand that was very, very uh, smooth and it was a lot of fun. So that being said, uh, look for the video coming here within a week, hopefully. Uh, both arrows or both bows, 60 pounds head to head and I'll be using uh, field points. I have 200 grain field points also. And they work really well on these arrows, the 340 spine that I made. This one, these I have five of these with the, the plastic on it. And then I have one of these with the feathers on it. And this is the one I use on the Achilles shot. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, it took me about seven tries to get that to where I wanted it. I did hit the... Uh, ankle quite a bit um, I'm gonna go get another one of those and put it in a sandal and uh, try to be more realistic or more accurate to the movie shot that Orlando Bloom uh, who played Paris shot um, Achilles who was played by Brad Pitt in the ankle or, or Achilles uh, which the arrow was allegedly guided by Apollo because Achilles desecrated the temple of Apollo and killed all of its priests and took whoever else slave. And uh, as you watch the movie, you'll see it. It touches on it lightly. So it's not book accurate, but, you know, bottom line, if you read the, uh, the Iliad and the Odyssey, you'll understand uh, and you'll get into the story better. It's a lot different. There's variations to the movie. The movie touches on certain things, but 
mostly fictionalizes it to a, to a certain degree. And you'll know what that means when you go, how Patricus died, um, all that good stuff, and, and continue on and on and on. Um, so, yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be back with a lot more.